Night. Possible measles exposure for hundreds of Fresno County in Fresno County. The warning from health officials. Right now, we're in the most common time, which is that 10 to 14 days after the exposure. The Los Angeles County of Public Health is reporting a passenger who tested positive for measles flew from Germany to L.A. to Fresno. It happened on May 19th, but exposed passengers could just now be showing symptoms. Action News reporter Gabe Ferris joins us from the live desk with the health alert and what you can do to protect yourself during this busy summer travel season. Gabe. Margo and Graciela experts say measles is an incredibly serious disease. They're now urging passengers on the impacted flight to check their vaccination status. This is a very contagious and very serious virus. It's more contagious than COVID or influenza. Health officials issued a warning after a confirmed case of measles was in Fresno County. The Los Angeles County of Public Health now confirming that an infected passenger flew aboard United Airlines Flight 5591. That flight from Los Angeles arrived in Fresno on May 19th. Flight-aware tracking data shows the flight, operated by SkyWest Airlines, landed at 8.12 p.m. and parked at gate 11. Action News spoke by phone with a passenger who was on board. She asked us not to use her name. I'd say it was probably about 70% full. I mean, there were vacant seats. It's unclear if the infected passenger is still in Fresno or where the person sat on the plane. Now, the president of the National Foundation for Infectious Diseases is urging caution. Measles is a terrible disease, so everyone Anyone who gets measles will be miserable. Patsy Stinchfield says measles is caused by a virus and has no known treatment or medicine. Symptoms include a runny nose, fever, and watery eyes. Stinchfield says people with measles are often sensitive to light. There's also a rash. It starts around the hairline, moves down the face, down the trunk, and then clears uh, the same pattern. So it'll clear on your face first. Measles is not usually deadly, but Stinchfield says it is serious. In recent years, more and more Americans with the disease are going to the hospital and are staying there for about a week. The U.S. said it eliminated measles in 2000, but never entirely eradicated it. The CDC reports nearly 150 cases so far this year. There is an effective vaccine that's been in wide use since the 1960s. Most people get it when they're young. California requires it before kids enroll in school. The passenger we spoke with is now checking her immunity. If you do not have access to your vaccination records, you can get a titer, which basically is a blood test that determines, you know, if you have immunity in your system. Stinchfield says vaccinated passengers on the United flight don't need to worry, but unvaccinated passengers should take precautions. Anyone who did have an exposure will need to basically stay home and away from public or other family members, school, work for that 21 day period until that June 9th date. If you were on the United flight, it is now too late to get vaccinated, but there's still time to prepare for summer travel and consult with your doctor. At the Live Desk, I'm Gabe Ferris, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you, Gabe.